welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below because those things do help my channel grow. Oh, and I always forget, don't forget to hit that bell button because then you are notified every time I upload a new video. I am really working on staying on a schedule of Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I've been doing a couple extra videos currently because I have more content than I have time, which is not usual for me, but with Easter baskets, that's where I'm at. Um, so today for you, I do have a Dollar Tree haul, and in this haul, I have more stuff for my Easter baskets. I have shown you all 25 themes. Uh, let me know down below. I don't think I asked in my last one. I can't remember now, but I don't think I asked what your favorite theme was. So if you've managed to watch all of them or a chunk of them, let me know here in this video what your favorite Easter basket was because out of just the themes that you've seen so far, I do plan to do some sort of video showing you the completed baskets be it an overview of them when they're all put together or me putting them together. I'm not sure yet because they're all just sitting in my living room. I will try to remember to post a picture for you guys in my community tab of what my front room looks like, like my office area. It's a hot mess with 25 baskets just sitting in there and not put together yet. But um, let me know in the comments if you remember. There's the pups cuddling. Um, let me know what your favorite theme was and once I get them all put together I'll tell you mine I think I've kind of made it know what my favorite ones are but I'll let you know so I have a few extra items that I have picked up since finishing hauling everything of some things I want to stick in those baskets some stuff that I was on the lookout for and I finally found and so they're going to go into them as I put the baskets together and I have Easter decor I'm finally to the point of finishing decorating I've done some I have this up in my couch um, I've started in the kitchen, but I needed some stuff to finish out my Easter decor for the house. And so I had to go shopping and find like I have more tear trays and I needed tear tray items and I just I needed some stuff. So I have a whole bag of Easter decor plus a whole basket of Easter basket items. So let's get started. So first of all, for the construction basket that I'm putting together, I found this. These were newly put out. This isn't the first time they've had these because I've seen them before. I picked them up to give to Eric and then I never gave them to him because they have this one, which is like a construction forklift. They have a harvester. I think the other one is like a fire truck and maybe a tractor because they had four different ones in these sets. So this is best lock. So it's different than their normal bricks that they have. But um, I just thought this would be cute to add into that construction basket as well as this I found the very last because they apparently have five different little um, trucks and this one is just a straight excavator where the other one was like an excavator with like a, a front thingy um, so I found the last truck so I think I got all of them from this set to be able to put into that basket so I was really excited for that and then for the Mickey Mouse basket I wanted to add a Pluto. I just feel like Pluto was needed. Um, these are different Mickey Mouse set, I think, than the ones that they typically have or that like they had had. I think they put out a new set because I think Donald looks different and there's no Daisy. And there was a Daisy in the other set. So I think they put out a new set. It included Pluto. I wanted to grab Pluto and toss him in there because I have a Mickey and I think a Donald maybe in it to go in the Mickey Mouse one. So I wanted to add that. For the Sesame Street basket, they put out new night lights recently because when I went in, they had all kinds of different ones. They had the Ber Bernstein Bears. They had like two or no, they had three, at least three different Sesame Street night lights. Um, I don't remember who else I saw that was new, but there was a couple other new ones. So if you have kiddos in the night light stage, they have new ones out. And these I think are LED led manual with an on and off switch and so i picked this one it has the three little faces i thought it was cute the other one has like a kind of group scene and it said friends on it i think and then one of them had abby and elmo maybe um so i picked this one up to toss in the sesame street basket because i just i mean you need a nightlight i thought that was too cute um you know my socks 
and snacks basket i found these again i've found them before in the past but i found them again and i just thought that this would be really cute because there are fruit loop socks and so i got a little container of fruit loops but the straws i think are even more fun because it's just something different um and it's fun to get the different things so on that one I, there might be some changes because i got a lot of stuff for this the snack and sock basket but um these you just like apparently you just drink milk out of them it's a cereal wafer straw i've seen a lot of people where they talk about they just eat them as a snack um but you can use them as a straw to drink milk i guess we've not tried them but i feel like my kids would love them finally i was on the hunt for this since i started my baskets i found a set and then um here they i found one i know there's like an eyeshadow back brush too and i got the ones that are like crystals because they're like sugar crystals for my sweets makeup basket for like a teenage girl and then this one's like the sprinkles so i'm gonna do this the sparkly ones and this one i'm gonna add it to it because i just think it's really cute and i like the sprinkle look so I got that for that one. And then I finally found the green collapsible LED sword. This is the color I wanted to begin with, but I think it was red that I found the first time. So I'm just going to put them both in there. And um, then that way, you know, if a kiddo wants to have a lightsaber fight with anybody, they have two in there to do it. So I grabbed the green one. And then I think there was a blue one too I saw, but I think two is plenty to put in a basket. Then I did Final Faction. This guy, um, I thought I was done, but he is Alpha Team 1 from the Elite. And it's limited edition because he's gold. And I, so I thought that would be a fun one to add in there. Even though I feel like I had enough guys. This guy like looked like he caught my eye. So I wanted to add him to that one. Um, for the teenage boy like gamer basket, I thought a Takis meat stick um, for a little snack would just be kind of a fun addition. It just seems like a teenage boy kind of thing while they're playing video games. And so it is chili pepper and lime flavor and Takis brand. I should have got a bag of Takis to go with it. But um, I just thought that that would just be kind of fun and cute to add to that one. And speaking of that one, I found these. These were new. Some Minecraft wall stickers. And spoiler, I found Harry Potter too. But they'll be on a later haul because I didn't get them for any of my baskets. But like how neat is this it comes with nine decals and there's a few little minecraft things i popped in there i never found the uh, minecraft blind boxes i was hopeful because i would have tossed them in this basket but i never found them but this i thought was really cute too so that's going to go in the gamer basket i did a minecraft cup too in that one um the star wars basket i picked up comics i have one of these i couldn't remember which one i I think it's this one that I've already found and this one I was looking for but then when I look at it I think I might be wrong it might be this one I was looking for so I bought them both and then I'll donate the one that isn't the one that I needed um, because I could not remember for the life of me and I wanted to finish out the four set and so by picking this up I'll have all four in the Star Wars basket so that made me excited um, and then for the imaginary play basket, I wanted to include a book. I like adding books. And this one is fun with baking, like a sticker book. And I thought it was too darn cute because I have like, you know, some just cute little foods and stuff in there. And so this has, these are the stickers um, in the middle. And then more stickers. And then they have the pages where you can add the stickers onto them. So I wanted to add that into the um imaginary play because sticker book imaginary play the baking it just all seemed to fit i picked this one up i will squeeze it it's super annoying the dogs will probably look up <coughs> yep um for the prank basket because i think like an annoying chicken just kind of goes with pranks it's not for you it's not um so i picked this up for that basket it's called funky farm squeeze me super annoying um it just seems like it would fit for that basket. I did pick up two more sets of batteries because I picked up more things that included batteries. I was concerned I didn't have enough. And this is such a great deal for batteries. So I grabbed those. And then lastly for the baskets, and this should be the last thing until you see the baskets put together. I found this. It is the Sensory Toy Mystery. You get unbox three sensory toys. It was in the $5 section because... There's the, there it is. All my Dollar Trees do have the plus section. And I thought this would just be a nice, grand, fun thing to put into the blind bag basket. 
Um, it just looks big and like grand where I got a couple things from Five Below, but they just really look just like all the other small ones that I got at Dollar Tree. So I wanted to have something that looked big and grand like a bigger toy. So I thought this was an awesome thing to add to that. So guys, I think that's everything hauled for my Easter baskets. And so I cannot wait to get them all put together and t taken, you know, to the Denver Rescue Mission to be able to gift to all the kiddos. So that's coming probably next week. Well, it's Thursday. So yeah, it's going to have to be next week. I don't know. Um, I have to look at my dates. My plan is to have that up sometime next week for you guys on my channel, um, the finished basket. So it has to be because I have to get them. I have to get them turned in. My due date is the third. That's the last day that they're accepting them. So um, next week you will see them all put together. Now I'm going to share with you guys um, all the different things that I picked up for Easter decor around my house. There. I thought I had more. I might be missing a tote, but I can't think of anything like, you know, when you have totes and you're like, oh, I'm missing this, this and this. And you can think of items. I'm not thinking of any items I'm missing. I'm just thinking that I don't have enough items. So I don't know what's going on, but I picked up stuff that I want to work with. So first of all, I picked up a little hand soap. I had one of these and the dispenser didn't work. Um, the little this doodad and I just threw it away and um, hoped that I could find another one. We have the chick. The chick is in the bathroom already and this is going to go. No, the chick is next to my kitchen sink. He's going to go in the bathroom. Um, but the other one, it just didn't work and it wasn't worth it to me to do anything because the little the little doodad didn't work. So hopefully this one works. If not, I will be sad. I picked up this. It is the Easter egg speckled egg garland. I have a whole plan with speckled eggs. You'll see I picked up a bunch of them because I don't have any that I've bought in yet until this year. Um, so I'm going to do this somehow with that plan or on a tier tray. And so I wanted this. I picked this up. I was excited to find it because the one I have is I think there it's in French where it says floors and jargon or however it says. Um, I don't know French. So um, and I wanted the one that says flowers and garden. I don't know if I'm going to use this one or that one because I have two different plants. I have one for Easter that I'm going to put it all together. Finally, I bought most of the stuff last year. And so I'm going to put it together this year. And then um, I want to probably have one for spring when I take down all the Easter decor right after Easter. I'm going to have a little bit of time between Easter and Eric's birthday at the end of May where I'm going to have spring decor. And then after that, move into summer decor. So um, I want to do this for one of those. And I don't know which will be which. They're both cute. They'll both be fine. I'm not really worried that way. But I wanted the one that said flowers and garden. And I was excited when I found it. All right, I found some wall hangings that I thought were really cute. So first was this one. And it says Easter wishes, bunny kisses, hippity hop, egg hunts, and jelly beans. And it's got the bunny butts that I love. So I thought that this was super, super cute to put up somewhere. And my whole front room is turning into this like pastel color scheme. And so I'm going to roll with it. I'm working on doing my coffee bar. I've never done an Easter coffee bar, so it's the first time. And it is... Um, kind of peeps inspired and so this just kind of fits with everything I just have to find where I want to put this up but I think it's really cute hopefully nothing falls this one I picked up because I thought it was adorable and then my husband ruined it for me so it says follow the bunny he has chocolate so my husband being the man that he is pointed out that you're following a bunny butt and you know how they like give you little chocolate pellets and I'm like, that's not what that means. <laughs> it just means you're following him because he has chocolate. And he's like, yeah, out of his butt. So anyway, it's still really cute. I'm going to put it up. But um, I, that is not at all how I took it. But I guess I'm just not a dude. And I don't think about, you know, that stuff. So I thought this was really cute. The color scheme, I think, is adorable. The tail is a little cotton ball. And so it sticks out, which I think is also super, super cute. So I got that to put up somewhere. I got a nice big carrot. I'm sure they call this a wreath form. I don't know how you would turn this into a wreath. I personally, I don't know how to make wreaths though. I just plan to keep it like this. My thought is up top of my kitchen cabinets, but I might put it somewhere else too. It might go in my like, I have built-ins. If you've watched any of my home tours, you've seen them. Um, but I'm going to put this up somewhere as just a nice big piece of decor. I was looking for some more substantial size things. I was mostly looking for tear tray things and I really struggled to be honest. But um, I thought this was really cute. I hadn't picked that up before. And so I'm going to 
I don't know exactly where, but it's going up somewhere. Speaking of finding the bigger size things, I did pick up the bunnies this year. I hadn't picked them up. I think they came out last year, if I remember correctly, and I didn't pick them up last year. But I am new to decorating the top of my cabinets each season, and it's been really fun. And I think that these guys are the right size. Pull them down there, his little toesies. I think these guys are the right size to go up there and still be super cute. I don't think I'm going to do anything to them, at least not this year. I think they're just going to go kind of hang out up there. And then maybe next year they will get some sort of makeover or something. But they have the little hard bottoms. I think you've seen them. Everyone's been hauling them. And I just thought they were super cute. So they're going to go up on top of my kitchen cabinets for some of the decor up there. I started up there, uh, but it needs more. I just didn't have enough. Like I said, I just, I don't know where all my... Easter decor is or I've just never had that much my brain told me I had more I think I'm not going to lean down and pick those up because I got two packages of speckled eggs um, I have already hauled these ones for my Easter baskets because I got some for some of my Easter baskets but I plan to use these now as decor um, I ended up now with a crap ton of speckled eggs because I bought the six packs those are coming too but um, I have a whole idea with these which I will explain here as soon as I get to something else in my bag uh, my tree toppers are Easter bunny ears, and so I have a set on top of my big tree, and then I have my all-occasion tree, which is just a little small tree in my office area, and um, I liked this set. I thought it was super cute because it has the addition of the little carrot, and so I think I'm going to change one of my sets of Easter ears to this one. Um, I just thought this was the cutest set with the, the soft pink in the middle of the ear and then the little carrot. I thought it was super cute. And so, um, maybe I'll wear it while I finish out my haul. Yeah, super cute. So I liked this one a lot. Like, I just think this one's really cute. I really like the carrot edition. I might need more just because I know Lorelai likes to wear ears and stuff. So I might keep an eye out next time I go to Dollar Tree and get her a set. All right, in here we have some more. So I've already hauled these. I picked these up at the beginning of the season. They're few and far between now. I have this set, one set that's like the blue and pink, and then I have two sets of carrot ones because I found one set of carrot last year and one this year, and then I just found this one of this. And it, when, as I'm doing the tear trays and doing my coffee bar, I wanted another one. And so this one is the pink and yellow one with the little chick. It's the only one that I found when I was out and about, so I grabbed it to put onto one of my other tear trays because as of right now, I have one two three four four ish tier trays that i'm doing so i just want stuff i have one on my coffee bar one on my table one on my entryway table and one on my living room table and i actually have one more but i i had it on top of my cabinets but i'm taking it down i don't know if i'll be decorating that one so i needed tier tray items because i've never had that many for easter so i found these two i thought these would be either cute on a tear tray or i might just put them on the tree these ones did come already with the little strings on them so they're very easy for tree ornaments and um i do feel like there's a few more areas that could be filled in i did stick these little guys in here they're like the little gingham bunnies i didn't put strings on them i just kind of tucked them in and so maybe i'll pull those out put those on tear trays and then put these guys on the tree um i'm not sure I'm a little behind, obviously. Everyone else is all done with their decor, and here I am like, what am I going to do? Um, I also have some DIYs I want to do, including uh, turn these into little peeps faces. So you see my peep pillow over here. I'm just going to paint these. I'm probably going to do a, peep, a, a, peep, a pink, a yellow, and a purple, or a um, pink, a yellow, and a teal. I haven't decided yet. I should have got four and did all four colors. But um, so I'm going to turn these into little peep spaces. I'm going to definitely put at least one or two on my tear tray in the coffee bar or in the kitchen because I'm, like I said, lightly doing peeps over there. But I have peeps in here too. So, I mean, anywhere can have the peeps. So these are going to be for tear trays. I might do little bricks, you know, like the Jenga blocks. So they set up on my tear trays. But I'm going to paint those like peeps. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing them on, on like a wood sign and so I didn't come up with the, I, that idea by any means um, and I saw 
Shauna from Shauna Ray's vlogs, she stained one of those and put it in her kitchen with like her cutting boards. And it was just such a nice neutral little Easter addition to hers because she has like the neutral tones. It was super cute. You should go see Shauna from Shauna Ray's vlogs. She's a doll. Uh, I found this one. This is more for spring than Easter. Uh, if I need some spots to fill though, I might just stick some flowers in it and like put it up somewhere for my Easter decor and then leave it up for spring. But I just thought it was really cute where it said flowers and garden on this one. And it's just like nice and big too. So it's like a, a good size. It's not like the mini ones. It's a good size. So I did love that as well. All right. Speckled eggs. I picked up one, two, and three of the six packs of the cute little speckled eggs, which I'm okay with. I had a plan. First of all, I wanted the Easter egg speckled eggs because you get more, right? You get 12 of them in here and you only get six of them in here. And so that's what I wanted. I didn't find them at the first store and I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm going to find the speckled eggs. You just never know. I've not, I don't know, with the Easter eggs this year. So these are what I first, well, these are what I got first thinking that I wasn't going to find those, but then I did. So these, I'm going to do some on a tear tray just like this and it's little carton. I may or may not take off the plastic. I'll probably take off the plastic and then add the um, tie back on because I think that's really cute. I guess you could take the plastic off around that without a problem because I think the little like bow is super cute. So, um, and then I might just do one somewhere in the kitchen as decoration. And so I'm gonna just put these around for decor. They're super cute. They're easy to do as decor. I love them. But the reason I wanted speckled eggs to begin with is I have the Easter egg sign or it's the, the cutting board style and it has on there like a wire basket with like speckled eggs in it and it talks about cottontails egg farm or something I can't read that far I don't have glasses or contacts in so I got a wire basket and I want to fill it with the speckled eggs. I might do a teeny bit of Easter grass at the bottom. It's going up high, so I want the eggs to really show through because I don't need it on top. I need it, you know, to, to show because it's going to be up on top of my kitchen cabinets. But I'm going to put this near the cutting board that talks about Easter eggs, and I just thought it would be really cute. And then I have the also one that talks about a carrot farm or something, and I put some of the carrots next to that one. And so that is why I wanted the speckled eggs. So... I got the basket. I did find the two packs of speckled eggs like I wanted. And then I'm going to use just these ones as other decor elsewhere. Like maybe in front of my two bunnies. I can set one of those up there still up on top of my cabinets. So I'll, I'll easily find spots for those. I was so excited. I finally found more of these. I had been looking ever since I found one pack. I put them on my tree. I don't know if you can see any of them, but they are here. There's, there's a purple one right there. And then a pink one right here. There's a green one right there. So um, I put all of them on my tree. I wanted another batch for my tree because I love these. I think they are beautiful. I like them so much better than my plastic Easter eggs that I did because these are just nicer looking. And so I might get to a point where it's all these and I don't do the plastic eggs on my tree because these just look so nice. But then I thought that I could do some on a tear tray too because they're just really pretty eggs. And so I bought two more packs of them. Um, either for a tear tray or for my just my tree. Um, we'll see kind of which way I decide to do those. There's something in there. Oh, so um, I told you I'm doing a Peeps inspired decorations on my coffee bar. And I have a jar over there already. And it has a sign. It's one of their like from Dollar Tree. And it says like treats for my peeps. And it's like the mason, mason jar style sign. I got it last year. And so I was going to put some peeps in the jar next to that sign because I just thought that that would be really cute um, on that tear tray. And so I needed some peeps to put into that jar. So I picked up the pink and the yellow for that. I picked this box up. It says Spring Flower Farm. The big, no, welcomes you to the big Easter egg hunt. Hop this way. And so I think this would be cute like with some florals in it or um, maybe you just kind of stick something in there and then you put a couple eggs on top or something. I will see. But I thought this would be cute on a tear tray. So I got the smallest size possible. They call it a gift box and they have the three different sizes and the big size is a decent size. 
which would be cute like you know up on top of my kitchen cabinets or something but I thought this would be cute on my tear tray and then I like the side too it's like a plaid I feel like I'm talking really fast but I still have quite a bit more to get through and we're already at 25 minutes um I got these you get the two in a pack I thought that I would just stuff them with some paper and put them out for decor because I think they're really cute I have some of the bunny ones from last year already that have like I think the polka dotted ears because those are the ones I liked like the pastel polka dotted ears and I'll do the same thing with those where I'll stuff them with paper and just put them out as decor and so it's the two piece of the carrots so I liked that a lot um speaking of the mason style jar my bag wants to fall off the table because stuff's falling um, I have another one that talks about jelly beans I don't remember exactly the wording on it but it says something about jelly beans on it and so I got this cute little jar and some jelly beans to put next to that sign and that's going on the tear tray on my dining room table um, no one in my house really likes regular jelly beans we like jelly bellies but not like these regular ones so I really only picked them up for decor to put in the jar and I thought this little jar would be just really cute and perfect for it and the colors will come out just enough and maybe I have some ribbon some Easter ribbon and maybe I'll tie a little Easter bow around either this top part or the rim right here so that that way it'll look nice and cute on the tear tray um, I talked about I have a project for the thing that says gardens and floral. I needed just like a floral brick to put into it. And then I'm going to stick some flowers coming out of it. One of the little bunny butts and carrots. So I've bought in all the other pieces in previous hauls. Who knows when? Some of them last year, to be honest. But I needed some floral foam to, to do it. So I finally have this and now I could work on it either later today or tomorrow. Um, we'll see what day that gets done, but soon, because I mean, I feel like I need to have all my stuff up like in the next two or three days. I picked up some mossy bunnies. I've passed them up several times. They're not super my decor, but I thought maybe the green would be cute to kind of change up amongst all the pastels. Um, now I wish I looked at the $3 one where you have the plus sections and the $3 one is like the bigger bunny and it's, you know, got the like moss look to it but I didn't grab that just the three little guys so find a spot for them to somewhere amongst the decor these guys I thought were cute I was looking for the little like peeps chicks that I picked up for my peeps basket and I never found more to be honest I might borrow some from Lorelai I'll put a couple on her Easter basket and then keep some for decor um but I did find these guys and they give a peeps appearance to me too because they look like they kind of have that sugar glaze on them I mean they don't look exactly like a peeps bunny but they look like a candy bunny so I thought that they'd be cute kind of around or on a tear tray or somewhere so um I was honestly getting a little bit desperate because I was struggling finding tear tray sized items and so I was kind of just picking up whatever I thought would work because I know I have plenty of tear trays to fill up with that I also grabbed some of these candles which I think will be good for Easter and um, spring because they're like the spring colors so I bought all four because I couldn't decide I couldn't decide which ones I wanted so we have purple and it is lava beach scented and I think it smells good the pink one is garden bloom it's okay so I'm not a big floral scent person I've said that before I'm more like sweets or fruits but it doesn't smell bad we have nautical is the yellow and then ocean tide is the um kind of aqua one the nautical one smells manly-ish to me like like you smell cologne and the ocean tide smells kind of soapy so um picked those up i just thought they'd be cute um probably on my living room tear tray um, out of the kitchen because I think when I get too many scents in the kitchen I don't like that very much and then I have my built-ins too that I decorate so I can use these kind of as filler in those I was eyeballing these jars already so I'm having a wedding eventually um, in 2024 and these are a pretty kind of almost that rose gold color that I'm going for or blush pink it might be I need to compare it to my other jars that I've picked up to see if it you know works well or if it clashes but I thought this would be cute on a tear tray just as it is just I'll set it on there or I take the cork out and put like a flower or something coming out of it um, with the pinks and stuff I think it'll go fine and this way too I can see if I like it for wedding and compare it before I buy more 
I picked up this cute little candle. It's a little chickadee coming out of an egg. They had pink and they had like this kind of greenish color. Since I always gravitate to pink, I decided to go with the green because it's just different. So I know that I always gravitate towards pink. This one gives a contrasting color. And lastly is boring. I needed some more command hooks for the things that I put up on the walls because I do it always in command hooks because I change it up every season. Um, I usually go to Walmart and pick them up, but since I was already at Dollar Tree, I grabbed the three from there because I was there. So um, let me know down below if you want to see a home tour of my house once I finally get it all finished up and decorated for Easter. Hopefully by the weekend. My goal is by the end of the weekend, it'll be completely done. So um, let me know if that's something that you would want to see. Um, I will try to remember, leave it in the comments if I forget, um, to, set, to post a picture of my community tab of my chaos. That is my front room, my like office area right now with baskets. I'll snap some pictures before I start building the baskets fully. Um, I'm gonna maybe try to record them. I might put my table up and I have the tree as the backdrop and like maybe record myself building them. I'm not making any promises though. Um, Cause it just takes so much more work and it's already gonna take a lot of time to build the 25 baskets. So if nothing else, I'm gonna at least do up closest so you can see them all. All right, it's already at 31 minutes. I didn't intend for this one to be that long. I have so many hauls coming up for you guys because I've been shopping for myself, but if it's not anything that I particularly need, I've been waiting because Easter's kind of come first. I have a whole haul of another organization haul, um, which I did back in Janu January or February. I did organization stuff and I found a whole bunch of their new stuff now. So I have a whole other haul of organization and I have some of my wish list finds, some of the name brand things that have been coming through. Um, I have my kids Easter basket stuff. I have, I have a fun reveal stuff that will be my next Dollar Tree haul. Um, fun stuff for a reveal for the kids. I can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, so I have so much, I have so much coming up. So, oh, and I have right now four Tamu hauls. I have one that I need to split into two. I have another one that probably needs to split into two and I have more stuff coming because I have stuff for Easter egg fillers, um, coming from Tamu. So I have so much Tamu to share with you too. I have more content and not enough time. So I can't wait until I see you guys next time. You all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Wonderful almost weekend. I'll see you on the weekend, but have a wonderful almost weekend. And I can't wait until I see you guys next time. Bye guys.